morning everybody, Helen here and April from Home Good Rehab. Um, this morning we wanted to share a um, few poses that we do um, using active myofascial release using the art of Qi Chong. Um, throughout our body we have several different myofascial lines and these six poses really target to lengthen those through the art of expansion. Um, when you're doing myofascial stretching, you don't want to go to a point of pain and just push through that pain. You just really want to feel like your body is expanding into these poses. Um, so we're going to show you the six different poses. Um, April's going to do the seated version. I'm going to do the standing version. So you can do them whether you're, if you're unable to, you know, feel safe standing, you can do them sitting down in the chair. And um, ideally you want to do each of these poses about three times. Um, and hold each one for 30 to 90 seconds, depending on your comfort level, okay? So the first pose we're going to do is called the heart opening. And this is for your superficial frontal la arm line. And then all we're gonna do is just stand or sit. You're gonna take a deep breath and you're just gonna open your arms up. And you just lift your chin up to the ceiling and you just want to take some nice deep breaths. Shouldn't be going into pain at all. You should just feel like you're just expanding across your chest and holding that there for 30 to 60 seconds. And this is your superficial front arm line. We'll do else for about 30 seconds, just seeing as we're just kind of showing it today. Okay. The second pose is called the praying mantis, and this is for the superficial back arm line. Okay. So you bring your arms out to the side and then just kind of curl them in and then arch your back forward. Feel a nice opening across the back, feel an expansion across the back. I'm going to hold that there. Just relaxing into it. And relax. Okay. All right. The next pose is called the dancer. Okay. So this one is gonna work your superficial front line and your deep frontal arm line. So we're going to turn sideways on for this one here. You're going to take one foot back, your opposite arm goes forward, then you open the arm out and then turn your head towards your arm. I'm just going to hold that pose there. Again, feel about expanding, feel like you're reaching your fingertips away. Remember, you shouldn't be going to like a painful stretch. It just feel like you're just expanding your soft tissue. Okay. Some nice deep breathing as you do that. Thirty to ninety seconds. And relax. Good. The fifth pose is, or the fourth pose, sorry, is the long fold. And that one is just for your superficial back line. So here, all you're gonna do is just kind of relax forward, just as far as you comfortably can. And here you're getting all the way from the back. The back myofascial line goes all the way up to the head from your ankles and just hold it there. Fifth pose is called my favorite name, the wind in bamboo forest. Okay, so this one is for your lateral lines and your deep back arm line. So you're gonna take one foot behind the opposite leg, the leg that is in front, that arm comes up, and then you reach over to the side. So we're getting that whole lateral line, 
and the deep back arm line. Just feel like you're reaching the arm up towards the ceiling, so you're getting that expansion throughout the body. Okay, and our last pose, our sixth pose, is called the Spinal Warrior Pose. And this is to work your deep frontal line and your spiral line. So I'm going to turn sideways. You're going to take one foot back, bring your hands up here, and then you're going to rotate away from the leg that is behind you, and then look to the opposite side. And then hold that there. There you have it folks, those are your six poses to target all of your myofascial lines and do some active release through the art of Qi Chong. Thank you everybody.